Welcome back to the FC Union Berlin career mode. We have big games ahead of us today, both continentally and domestically too. Both legs of the Europa League semi-final against Sevilla today. Sevilla are the team of this competition, as you well know, especially in recent years. And then Wolfsburg in the league are chasing us for a European spot of their own. We are chasing Frankfurt for a European spot of our own in the competition above what we're currently destined to qualify for. We want top four. Will we get it? Don't know. Frankfurt have our city rivals Hertha Berlin as their first game away from home of the remaining three domestic games. We then, in the next episode tomorrow, will have Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. Not great for us. Frankfurt have... Le no, that's Mainz. My bad. Frankfurt have Bruce Mucci and Gladbach as well. Oh, I don't know which way it's going to go. I hope it goes our way. If it doesn't go our way in the league, then we need it to go our way in Europe. We can still qualify for next year's Champions League by winning the Europa League if we can't make top four in this division. We're saying thank you to Angela today. We're saying thank you to Sid today. And we're saying thank you to Ollie today for your continued support on stream. And in the YouTube comment section, do keep those comments coming. Do make sure that you join me on stream to see all of the behind the scenes, whether that be on Twitch, link down below, or the YouTube streaming channel, link down below. Right. First leg against Sevilla on the way. Their starting lineup looks like this. Dimitrovic in goal for them. Hartman, Gadeli, Marcao, Reese James? What's he doing here? Yanazai, Luca Bacchio, and Chimi Avila up top. Suso at Cannes with Unahi and So in the midfield. On the bench, our former player, Becker, is waiting to come on and knock us out of the bloody competition. I hope he doesn't. I hope we knock him out of the competition. First leg first, second leg second, but certainly we might make it through. I don't know whether I'm I'm not confident of making it through, but I'm also not not confident of making it through, if you know what I mean. I'm like, we can do this if we do it right. He's doing well, he's doing annoyingly well. Hi, oh, nearly stole that back there. Dodi look back here in the box. This is dangerous. He's doing a danger. Reese James! Renault at the near post. Reese James. Wow. Really can't believe he's here. Luca Bacchio's up. It's going to fall to Marcao. The centre back has two bites of the cherry off the, the goalkeeper's feet, shins almost, and off the woodwork and on the counter attack. Anthony Martial racing away. Just unstoppable here. Tony Martial misses the target. Bailey, Almazrati, we go Juranovic. Leon Bailey's on the run. What a ball. He's in behind Hartman. He needs support. It is arriving, but slowly. Nice. Juranovic, tuck it back to Leon Bailey. And Martial. No, Marcao. How dare you, Leite. Into Felix and Mesha. Nice ball to Carlos Augusto. Inside to Idea. To Carlos Augusto again, just. Augusto into the middle. Oh, so close. We'll try again. He's offside. Martial with a first-time effort that we're sneaking in that bottom corner. Tried to guide it in there. Wasn't even on the pitch, Carlos Augusto, but it's a good save by the keeper. Avila. Unahi. Unahi, is he the Moroccan guy? Timmy Avila, who's had nothing to do all day. I can't tell you what the goalkeeper is doing there, but it's a brilliant finish by Suso nonetheless. Sevilla, one. Union, nil. Cutting me apart straight through the middle. That was really strange from Renault. Really strange indeed. The ball's on the floor and he's gone up, turned and fallen over. That looks particularly odd. Never mind, severe lead. And we are behind, but it's only the first leg. There's still half an hour left in this game to find an equaliser. And then the 90 minutes of leg two as well to get ourselves through to the final of the Europa League. We hope. 
Cotelli have turned on the slick passing possession play now. Sevilla. But Felix Amesh is just battering Ram in the middle. Looking for Bailey. Bailey looking for Juranovic. With options in the middle. And Bailey central. And even more options in the middle now. We won't get the chance. And Mesha didn't get his pass off. Had substitutions waiting to be made for about 10 in-game minutes now. But the ball just won't go out of play because Sevilla are determined to just ticky tacker the ball about and waste the time they need to get the win in this first leg. Oh, I thought I'd won it back fairly. We hadn't. Six minutes left as my changes get made for them to make an impact. Almazrati. Bailey's down the line. Bailey spun well. Come on, Leon. Now find the right ball. Diaz there in the middle. Bull idea can't get there. And Mesha wins the header. It will find Mitchell Weiser. And with the last kick of the game, he puts it over the top. The chance for an equaliser was right there. And we couldn't take it. We still have the second leg. It's not over yet. It was a good goal by Suso. I do kind of really want to see that goalkeeping animation again, though. I do not... Just watch the goalkeeper. So we need to look at here. Watch the goalkeeper. What is that? I know it's a very good shot. He probably wouldn't have got there if he dived. But what... Let's move on to the next game. Wolfsburg, our first domestic opponent. In fact, our only domestic opponent today. Kaminsky, Uzuni and Cerny up top. Lovro Meyer, Schaefer, Zubin Mendy's a decent player in the middle as well. Crazy at centre-back. Dodo. Bornau is decent. Kuhn Castillos is obviously very good. Patrick Vimmer on the bench as well. Armando Broya on the bench too. Some quite a few former Chelsea players knocking about in Germany. Obviously, we've got Mason Mount ourselves as well. The side didn't do the job against Sevilla. I very much would like them to do the job this time around. We'll move Luca Nets to left wing back with Carlos Augusto forward. Leon Bailey can continue on. And we pray we get the win. This is ominous from Wolfsburg. Oh, it's brilliant from Wolfsburg is what it is. Off the bar. I even let go of the controller so convinced was either that was going to go in. They've scored anyway. Here's Vladis Avcherny up top. They lead by a goal to nil the away side. Jesus, look at that Wolfsburg press. Ranovic, some space in there for Mason Mount now. He can get away from Zubimendi here. And look at the room inside here. Carlos Augusto finding Felix and Mesha and an instant response. A yellow card and a goal for Felix and Mesha now. Wolfsburg played a really hard, high press and left their defence completely open. And Mesha able to run through an unmarked, wide open midfield gap and slot home. Immediately back in it. All right. Game on again then. Giving it away immediately. Wolfsburg from the kickoff. Mount looking for the ball back here. Carlos Augusto beats one man. Carlos Augusto fires wide. Rogerio. Maya. This is how they scored their first goal. Coming down that side. That, oh, the turn. Can't defend against that. That's just phenomenal footwork. He's got two now. As do Wolfsburg. That turn is unreal. Completely sent the defender. And we're behind again. Scary ourselves though. Bailey looking for Boulay. Boulay used to run as a, def as a distraction. Oh, off the post and in. Boulay Dia. We've instantly responded again. Now, if we could score before Wolfsburg do... That'd be lovely. Can we go and make it 3-2 to us, not 3-2 to them, before we then make it 3-2, 3-3 again? Just as was the case with their goal, excellent footwork, working the space to then find the finish. Boulay actually did something. Can you believe it? That's loose from Wolfsburg. Never know, we might be able to go and make it 3-2 before they've scored. Boulay Dia's in again. Boulay Dia. He's, he's actually done it. He's actually done it. 3-2 Union. What a game to start the... Oh, God. This first half has been electric. 
Three, two. We're not even at half time yet. He's away and on a hat trick here. Nice tackles, Yoga Leite. Still, it falls free for them. Nice tackle. It hasn't fallen free for them this time. In that inside, and Almazrati will spin his man. Sheffer just decided he didn't want to be spun. All right, fair enough. Kaminsky. Oh, dear man, they got a toe to that. Oh, flash past the post. I got very unlucky with a lot of tackles in that run. That times I won the ball back and it just fell straight back to them was infuriating. But thankfully, the eventual effort was off target. Almazrati turns and then just didn't sprint. Well, intercepted by Lucanets. And Mesha looking for Augusto. He's got the space now. Diaz on a hat-trick here and beats his man. Bull idea. Draws the save out of Castile's Mount for Sucic. Bailey for Weiser. And Diamande for a 4-2 lead was how I wanted to end that sentence. Nuno Santos with the throw. Thank you. All right. I have it back then. Nuno Santos into the middle. And share for... Oh, the back heel. Wasn't ready for that. And Uzuni. And 3-3. Three, three. They've been unbelievable at times, Wolfsburg, in this game. And they've pegged us back now this time. They've taken the lead twice and had us equalise. Now we get a taste of our own medicine. 3-3. Three, three. Sutic. Dear. Dear away. Bula, dear. He's got to bury it. Castile's with a great save, but he's got to bury it. Diamande gets his goal over the bar last time. Not this time. 4-3. What a game. No mistakes, lads. Can't afford any mistakes. Roussillon, Carlos Augusto. Inside to Sucic, looking for Tony Martial. There's the ball on out wide right to Juranovic. He's tucked that to Almazrati. That's really not where that was supposed to go at all. Friggin' bum holes, but it might be enough to waste the time. That certainly will be enough to waste the time. To give us the win. Wow. By four goals to three in the most remarkable Bundesliga fixture, our Champions League hopes still remain. Although our two final games of the season are against <laughs> Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund, the two title-chasing sides. So... To get six points in our final two games is a must. And we couldn't have more difficult opponents to do it against at all. It's literally the two best sides in the division that we need to get six points against. Why is the game against Bayern two friggin' days after the game against Sevilla? What is that scheduling then? Why is that Bayern game not been moved? I can't play Thursday, Saturday. Well, give up on doing it through the league. I've got to beat Sevilla. The Europa League is our only hope. What is that? They line up almost identically for the second leg, Sevilla. The only change is that Bade is in at centre-back ahead of Gudeli, who drops to the bench outside of that. Same starting eleven. Let's hope it's not the same scoreline come the end of the fixture. Felix and Mesha, for some reason... What? Why? That makes no sense. All right. Felix and Mesha will not be starting this next game then. He'll drop to the bench. Uh, let's do that. Sucic or Mount? Deeper. Mount with the 63 defending to Sucic's 55. Well then. Pretty much our only hope of uh, Champions League football for next season is to win this game by more than one goal. Oh, good. What a great time to highlight that. I've had 50 career wins so far in my managerial career here at FC Union Berlin. I need to make it 51. I'm pretty desperate to make it 51. 51, please. Leite. Augusto. Dia. Run for me, Anthony. Just bloody stand there, Anthony. Here's Mason Mount through that gap. It's a little bit lucky that it does finally reach him. That was meant for freaking Martial. Now I'm in trouble. Luca Bacchio. Oh, he's done him. And he's away. Dodi Luca Bacchio tackled well by Reno. Excellent goalkeeping from our number one. Martial finding Carlos Augusto. Augusto will look for Mount. 
It's Deer that's found. Deer finds Augusto again. Martial has runners. Just none of them were really in a position where I could have found them. So he's won it back again, Martial. And will come forward again. Sutic. Looking for the ball out wide. It's Juranovic. 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 Oh, how has he saved that then? Tony Martial. Right place. Right time. Same goes for the goalkeeper. Unbelievable stop. Corner comes in. Tony's up. It's going to fall to Dia. Couldn't get the shot away. Oh, mate. How have we not gone 1-0 up in this game there? Through there is Lukas Sutic. Oh, I tried to cut it back and it didn't work. Flipping it. This is tough. Severe is so good and lucky. Sutic, Martial. Somehow we've still got it. But it's half time. Diamande. And a switcheroonie. Carlos Augusto. Bulai! Run, you. Dead house. <sighs> he's so lazy. Someone with high attacking work rate. He's so bloody lazy. And he's rubbish. He's the worst 86 rated player I've ever had in my life. Into Suso. Simi Avila gives it away. Little dink. Win this, Tony. Dia has it again. Good footwork. Good ball. Bailey through the gap. Here's Juranovic. The right back's in the box. The right back's in the box. And can't find the teammate. 20 minutes left to save our Champions League dreams. Augusto. Oh, I tried to step in. Reese James gets away from him. Here's Dodi Luca Bacchio. Lovely flick to Reese James. Severe are in. We need to win this. Oh, what a save, Reno! Bloody hell. Suso with a the corner. They're going to go short. Keeper keeping me in it. Chipperal so. Mount. Turns and loses it somehow. Oh, and it's going to cost me the game. What was that, Mason? 2 0 Severe. We're going out of the Europa League at the semi-final stage. What was that? What was that touch and turn? I need to see a replay. I win it back here. Oh, it was a tackle. It was a tackle. The man that he just turned away from threw a toe at it and it worked. And that's found its way into the back of the net. With Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund as our final two Bundesliga games. I'll be honest, I don't think... Champions League via the top four is going to happen. And needing two goals in ten minutes against Sevilla, I'll be honest, I don't think Champions League via a Europa League win is going to happen either. So, where are you going? Where are you? Where are you going? I'll try and hold it in the corner by the looks of things. Quick one, two. Decent whip. Mason Mount will flick away with a header. Get there, Boulay. Good lad. Now run, Boulay. Run like your life depends on it. Because your Union Berlin... Well, I say your Union Berlin career depends on it. It doesn't. I'm definitely selling you. Oh, he still can't score from there! Never mind. Severe 1, Union Berlin nil. Twice. We'll see us crash out of the Europa League at the semi-final stage. And with Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund to come... In the Bundesliga, as Porto win 1-0, it will be an FC Porto Sevilla Europa League final. <laughs> Sag. The gap to Frankfurt is four points. For some unbeknownst reason to me, the game against Bayern comes two days after the Europa League semi-final. They wouldn't move it for me. German FA, you've screwed me. Kind of screwed myself by not getting the results I needed to be in a top four position anyway. So it is kind of on me too. But with four points the gap and Bayern and Dortmund to play, I think it's safe to say we are not getting Champions League football next season. Two points the gap to Leverkusen behind us and Mesha suspended for this next one. Fatigue and suspension and injury throughout the squad, meaning that we're probably not going to do anything. So I might as well just sim these two. I'm not going to bother playing Bayern or Dortmund. I will just quick sim them and we will end the season here and now. Quick sim, get it over and done with. End my misery. Of course we win by two goals to one against Dortmund. Of course we do. 
Unbelievable, Jeff. So what's the gap then? Four points still. Frankfurt won. Okay. Champions League dream. Dead and buried now entirely. <sighs> Mate. Season one in the Bundesliga. We finished fifth behind Frankfurt in fourth. Season two in the Bundesliga. We are going to finish fifth behind Frankfurt in fourth. Dortmund have won the league, so they've got nothing to play for on this final day. Pretty much report you can see their starting lineup here for those that would be intrigued. Martson at left back is an interesting one. God, two years in a row. Two years in a row. We're going to not make it. How did Leverkusen do? They won. Oh, good. Sixth. Sixth then. Europa Conference League football for us next season. Even better, mate. Don't care about the Youth Academy players. Right, next season, we are going to go for the Bundesliga title. I'm not sure what my transfer budget is going to be, but it will be enough, especially with the sale of Bull Idea, who just doesn't do it for me. He's not worked out wide. He's not worked up top. On paper, he looks sensational. He just isn't the one. Bull Idea is going to get sold. And we will go for the Bundesliga title or bust next season. I'll do a full season roundup though, as we usually do. And we'll get that sorted and uh, sort the uh, Patreon players out as well. But for the on-field action, that is season two, dead and buried. So a full season roundup then. How did everything pan out at the end of that year? We'll show you the competitions we were involved in and the bigger competitions around Europe before we show you the squad and have a think about what we might be doing next year in terms of improvements to the team to close the 22-point gap to those at the top of the table. I say that. It's only Dortmund that are that far away. 12 points only, only is the gap to Bayern Munich and Leipzig. We want to finish top four next year as a minimum, but I want to challenge for the Bundesliga title next year. We should have the budget to do so with further growth from players that are at the squad and with the sale of some bigger players, we should be able to get the job done. Sixth this year in the Bundesliga after fifth last year in the Bundesliga. European football still, but not the European competition of choice. Leipzig win the Pokal by four goals to three against FC Bayern München. We were knocked out very early on by Augsburg by a goal to nil in the round of 16. Yip, yip, oh yay. Uh, that was pre-season relegation playoff. Uh, a draw. Okay, cool. That helps me see who's going to stay up and who goes down, isn't it? The Champions League was won by AC Milan on penalties against Real Madrid. The Europa League was won by Sevilla. Because of course it was. And by a goal to nil as well. They love a 1-0 scoreline, don't they, apparently? And West Ham win the Europa Conference League again. So fair play, Hammers. You've gotten yourselves a decent European trophy for the second time. In terms of individual players for this season, uh, Harry Kane wins the golden boot in the Bundesliga. Nobody's really that shocked at that, are they, to be completely honest? Darwin Nunez, 17 in 27. Decent from him at Dortmund. My highest goal scorer, annoyingly, Bull Idea, the man that I am going to look to sell in the summer transfer window with 13 in 32. Most of those feel like they came in simmed games and also 13 in 32 isn't exactly the prolific sort of goal scorer I'm looking for to win me the league, especially at 86 bloody rated. Outside of that, any other Union players in there? No. Creatively, Mason Mount was the most creative player in the entire league with 12 assists. He'll be staying next year, I think. Carlos Augusto came in and got 6 in 18. So he certainly could have been up there with Mason Mount given the full season. Clean sheet wise, Renault, 16 clean sheets. We've got a great defence. It's been the goal scoring for the second season in a row that has stopped us from challenging higher up the table. We will look to challenge higher up the table moving forward. With some of the other leagues around Europe, we can show you who won. Well, not, let's not check League One first. Let's not check the Championship first. Come on, Chase. Find the Premier League. There you go. Manchester City by 11 points to Liverpool. Arsenal and Manchester United. Villa 5th. Chelsea 6th. Spurs 7th. Newcastle 8th. Relegated from the Premier League. Luton, Leicester and Bournemouth. From the Championship, up go Palace and Burnley. 
and one of West Brom, Middlesbrough, Sheffield United and Blackburn. Relegated from the championship are Huddersfield, Charlton and Blackpool, who got only 20 points in their 46 games. Promoted to the championship, Portsmouth and Peterborough. Yeah. Uh, Bolton, Sheffield Wednesday, Barnsley and Wigan in the playoffs. Cambridge survive relegation up the Yellers. Wrexham relegated on goal difference. Stevenage survive on goal difference. Cambridge only survived by a point. Port Vale, Bristol Rovers and Fleetwood down to League 2, being replaced by MK Dons, Northampton, Tranmere and one of Crewe, Salford, Barrow and Gillingham. Were it in the game, down to the National League would have been Cheltenham Town and Sutton United. In League 1, uh, it's PSG by six points. In League 2, it's Le Havre. In the Bundesliga Zwei coming up will be Darmstadt and Werder Bremen. I don't know out of Heidenheim and Stuttgart who's actually coming up or staying up because it said 1-1 in the promotion and relegation battle. So didn't actually say who won it. Uh, Dinmo Dresden and Sandhausen are coming up as well. In Serie A, it's AC Milan. So a Champions League and Serie A double for the Serie A outfit. The other Serie A outfit, second in the league there. Napoli and Roma, Atalanta and Fiorentina. Juve only eighth. Oh dear. In the Eredivisie, it's Feyenoord by Ajax by PSV. In the League of Portugal, it's Benfica from Sporting and Porto, who reached the Europa League final but lost it, of course, and missed out on the title by a point. Sporting winning it only on goal difference ahead of... Sorry, Benfica only winning it on goal difference ahead of Sporting. In the SPL, it's Rangers from Celtic. And in La Liga, Barca from Real Madrid, Sevilla and Atleti. So Champions League football for Sevilla next year via the league finish and via the uh, Europa League victory. So congratulations to them. Really bloody annoying. In terms of objectives, the board are quite happy with me. 84 is my managerial popularity. Didn't do the youth player one. Not the priority in this save. Uh, we only got a streak of three clean sheet in home games, unfortunately. Sag. Two players the same nationality of the club, though, was ticked. Financially, we ticked it. Our domestic success didn't go that well. But we did do what we needed to European-wise, so the board are happy enough. Squad-wise... Hmm. <laughs> what do we do? Next season, Renault, we would like to replace. I would like a brand new starting goalkeeper next season. Shvolov, we will sell. We'll look to loan Oliver. And Renault will be my backup goalkeeper for the final season. We want a higher rated keeper. Left back, I'm happy with Nets to continue on. Roussillon will do a job continually. Uh, Trimel, actually still got another year left on his contract. We'll let him retire at the club. It's only fair. Diego Leite is growing well. Diamande is growing well. I'm quite happy with those two as a centre-back partnership. Ultimately, defensively, we've had a good season. It's the other end of the pitch where it's not quite gone according to plan. Till Klein has grown up seven out on loan at Fortuna Dusseldorf. So that's good news. Mitchell Weiss is up one. Great squad player continually. But I would like a starting right back. Juranovic, not the one anymore. I'd be tempted to sell him. What's he worth? 10 million euro. I'll look to sell Juranovic and we will buy a new starting right back next season. Tusar, quite happy with his contribution as a squad player. And Masrati, obviously, he's been very solid. Felix and Mesha, he's been very solid too. Carlos Augusto's come in and made an impact. Whether he starts at left back or left mid depends on what we do in the summer transfer window, but he's certainly very good. Uh, when it comes to the rest of the midfield. Suchic is up three this year. Probably won't grow as well next year, but should grow a little bit. Mason Mount has been good. Ultimately, he's been good enough to keep his starting spot at the club. If we do get a giant bid for him, though, I am open to selling. Bailey's been decent, come in, made the difference on that right-hand side. He has been an improvement. Tony Martial is perfectly good enough as a squad player for up top or out wide on either side. Bull idea is a bum. And at 70 million euro, we'll be selling him on for a big fee and replacing him, hopefully, very well indeed. Holabash, still a good squad player. So the plan is to sell Dia. The plan is to sell Juranovic. I want a first-team goalkeeper, a first-team right-back, a first-team striker for next season. That is the initial plan as it stands. With regards to the Patreon players, uh, the moves are all up to date. So I'll sort by position. Continually, 
Some of you are still bugged. I'm hoping as we push into the new season that might fix itself. We'll find out. I fear it may not. Again, continued apologies for that. Out of my hands, as you may well understand. Uh, Draven is 75 and at Sturm Graz. Jemmy Todd, 75 and at Bayern München. Uh, Matt is at Liverpool. You can see that the uh, stats and club of all of those on your screen. I won't go through all of them individually because uh, it would take forever. If you want to see your individual stats in more detail, do come and join me on stream and I can show you in more detail, either in this save, uh, the player save, I can't really search for you, so we just kind of luck into seeing you, but certainly in Football Manager when we stream that, I can show you your guys' stats in more detail as well there too, and we'll up fully update this, uh, this list once we get to the end of the transfer window in the next season with overall ratings and uh, clubs that you play for, etc. Some still free agents, some have been moved, some have moved and moved again, in this save already we'll wait and see how things pan out uh carlson i'm, I'm just going to remove these guys from the shortlist now because uh, i don't need them at the moment but really not sure who to go for at right back not sure who to go for at striker either but we are confident enough that we will have a decent enough budget to be able to adequately replace those that are outgoing we are going to bring, bring some top quality players to the club. Noah Lang may well be a player that joins us at the club as well. 43 million euro might be able to get him for less than uh, 50. I'd certainly like to get Noah Lang in if I can. So Noah Lang might be actually a bit of a priority at, uh, at left wing at the beginning of the next season. So do let me know any further feedback you have with regards uh, playing staff, with regards tactics with regards to what you think we should look to do in the new window. But that is all for this second season. Join me tomorrow for episode one of season three, where we will try and achieve some silverware. We got close to the Pokal season one. We got close to the Europa League season two, but we at the minute are semi-finalist bottlers in every competition we've played in, in cup form. And in the league, breaking into the top four has just been beyond us. But next season, that changes. Drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any more. And I'll see you in the next one.